Hi, I'm Pete with Foam Fit Tools. Today I have the Husky 1025 piece set and I'm going to show you the foam organizers we make to fit that tool set in one of the Husky 72 inch mobile workbenches. And I have more information at the end of the video about the different 72 inch Husky boxes, but for now let's put the tools in so you can see what everything looks like. Okay, all the tools are in the foam. Now I'm going to go through drawer by drawer, show you what's in each drawer and then where we recommend uh, putting that in the 72 inch box. Okay, so we're using 12 of the 18 drawers in the 72 inch toolbox. The upper drawers we've got configured for sockets. So the way the socket drawer is laid out, inch is on the left side, metric is on the right. Uh, the impact socket drawer is the same way, inch on the left, metric on the right. And then from there it's arranged by drive size. So the half drive sockets are all on the outside, then three eighths, then quarter. Um, Got a couple finger pockets on the ratchets so that you can get what you need quickly. But the uh, you know the basic idea is that everything has a spot. Um, everything gets put back. You can put it back easily, right? So even if someone didn't get it out, if they go to put it away, it always goes back in the same spot every time. So then the next time, you know right where to look for it. Okay, so we've got some of the ratchets here, but the next row is gonna have uh, the rest of the drive tools, drive accessories. Okay, so you have some flexibility on these next couple drawers, but what we recommend is putting the drive accessories in the drawer right underneath the sockets. And this drawer is, is mostly flex head ratchets, extensions, breaker bars. We've got some long hex bit sockets and hex keys in this drawer as well. And the things that are intrametric or SAE metric, uh, it's SAE on the left, metric on the right, even the hex bits, SAE metric, um, and then we've got a metric specialty wrench organizer with flare nut wrenches, double box end wrenches, crow foot wrenches, and ignition wrenches. So continuing down from the top, in the third row um, down, we've got screwdrivers and another specialty wrench organizer. So this is the SAE specialty wrenches, very similar to the metric one, double box end, flare nut, ignition, and crow foot. Now the screwdriver drawer, and drawer three has got slotted screwdrivers with the red handles, Phillips with the blue, and then the black handles are Torx and square. The other thing in this drawer is a couple of Torx bit sockets. In the fourth row, we have metric wrenches. And the nice thing about the 72 inch box is with the, the drawers lined up side to side, so we can go wrenches all the way across. So in the center, we have combination wrenches and stubby combination wrenches. Then we have uh, the ratchet wrenches on either side. So these are the non-reversible ratchet wrenches, stubby. Flex head in the front, and then the last group are the reversible ratchet wrenches, and that's the style that has a, a lever to change the direction of motion. In the fifth row, we have the SAE wrenches. This is a very similar arrangement to the metric drawers. And in fact, you can flip-flop the fourth and fifth row if you'd rather have the SAE higher in your toolbox. But what we've got are the SAE combination wrenches, stubby combination wrenches, and then ratcheting wrenches in both the side banks. So these are the non-reversible, the stubby, the reversible ratcheting wrenches, and the flex head wrenches. So the configuration I just walked through leaves you with six empty drawers. The bottom row of the toolbox has some, some bucket drawers that are nice uh, to put things that come in cases, you know, test equipment, things like that. So we don't put a foam organizer in any of those drawers. And then there's three other, uh, besides that, th the three in the bottom row, there's three other small drawers open for other things. So usually the way we recommend doing it, you've got one empty drawer above the impact sockets, you got one to either side of the screwdrivers and then one to the side of the, the drive accessories. So, you know, for things like pliers, uh, expect inspection equipment, measuring equipment. Um, so it feels like the 72 inch 18 drawer toolbox is a pretty good match for this Husky 1025 piece set. The thing that you have to be careful of is that Husky makes several different 72 inch boxes. So the box that we're talking about is the 72 inch 18 drawer heavy duty version of the box. And it's got uh, an adjustable top and there's a mechanism in there uh, 
that makes that top go up and down. There's a crank and it, it goes up and down. So that mechanism takes up a little space in the box. When you go from the 18 drawer heavy duty version of the box to some of the other versions, the drawers actually get a little bit bigger because that mechanism isn't in there. The only one that's different is the professional duty um, version. It's a 20 drawer, so Husky 20 drawer, 72 inch uh, toolbox. That one, the narrow banks are quite a bit smaller. Um, so, you know, at this time, we've only done the, the heavy duty 18 drawer version. There's a 15 drawer version, but you lose three drawers in that configuration. Um, and then there's the, the standard duty ones and the uh, professional duty ones. So, you know, if you need one of those other variations, let us know. We, uh, we do these on a CNC router. So it's pretty easy for us to load a larger sheet of foam into the machine and make them different size. So, you know, we may come out with some different sizes for the other versions of the 72 inch box later. Um, if you're viewing this, uh, uh, you know, down the road, otherwise let our customer service people know what your drawer measurements are and they may be able to just, you know, give you a price to make them on bigger sheets of foam um, for the other versions of the box. But it's always good to measure, even if you are looking at that, that heavy duty box, probably the best would be to get the box, measure the drawers, confirm uh, what drawer sizes you have, because it's easier for us to, to adjust the size um, before you place the order. And then you don't have to live with gaps down the side or something that doesn't fit. So there you have it, the Husky 1025 piece set in the uh, 72 inch heavy-duty 18-drawer mobile workbench with the height-adjustable top. Thanks.